everybody, it's Billy at Bakersfield Tough. Got something cool for you today. We got our truck of the month here. I'm here with Eric Vono. And uh, man, you've been doing trucks for a long time, right? I think I met oh, you man. at one of our events a long time ago at the uh, the uh, Be Tough Apocalypse. I think I met you. You brought out a, what'd you bring out? It was a Bronco. Bronco, and you rolled it. Yeah, I rolled the crap. In practice. Did yeah. you do it in practice? No, it was, in, it was during the first heat. Oh, that's right, yeah. First heat. But we're back, man. And you've gone through a few different trucks. And uh, what I like about you, Eric, is that like, this is not a cheap hobby, no, right? Not at all. And you don't make a lot of money, right? No offense. I don't make any money. <laughs> okay. But somehow, you created this awesome truck that we're going to get into and show everybody. First off, what is this truck? Uh, this is a 74C10 1450, uh, technically a pre-runner, um, but it's in the process of becoming street legal for the next season. Okay. Now or you, race legal, I would say. Are you trying to race the steel? Uh, I plan on it, yes. You do? Yeah. What are they racing? They race them out in the, uh, like the California desert, maybe the Nevada desert, a lot of uh, Laughlin stuff, Barstow. Um, they do a lot of like Lucas Oil, like a r random arena tracks, just like you said, up here at the circle track. Like you know, any event we can get to, we're trying to go to. Yeah. Now you've already wrecked this truck, right? You rolled it. Did uh, I, yes, I saw I a video. Am I wrong here that I saw uh, a video of you like barrel rolling it? Like my second time driving it, I uh, we went out trying to test it and learn the shocks a little bit, and we found a lot of problems uh, too too late. <laughs> right. We, uh, we found the problems way too late. Right. So let's show them this truck a little bit. Let's start at the back here. Let's kind of give an idea of what we're talking about because it, it is really cool. So Corey's got the. Uh, so after we rolled it, we cut it out like right off the back of the cage and rebuilt all this, remounted the fuel cell. Okay. We mounted the shocks, just things where we uh, thought it should be rather than where it was. Right, you cut it right here, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I see that. Um, and then we we set a new cab and then cut the front off as well and redid the front. Now, these are heavy-duty shocks, right? You got a coil over here with a canister shock. How, like, how do you like how do you know what to run on this stuff? Do you tune these or are they just pretty yeah, much? Yeah, they're definitely tunable. Each one of these tubes are tunable. It's a three inch diameter by 18 inch shock. Heavy duty, man. Yeah, there's a, a, a lot of travel, right? A lot of tune. Yeah, they have 18 inches of travel, but at the back it has about 36 inches of travel. Oh, wow. Uh, at the actual axle. Oh, whoa. Can I show them this real quick? Let me get under here. It's got a 10 inch wing gear inside that rear end. Wow. That's crazy. Well, it breaks. Yeah. Now, will that. That right there, will that actually hit the rear end or no? The bump stop? Yeah. Yes. It does. It the goes down. lands right here on this pad. No right kidding, here. man. Yes. That's huge. It'll lay, basically lay on the ground. Wow. How do these things handle? It uh, feels like, uh, what compares to me is like a choppy lake. Like just cruising across a choppy lake. You just really? Do. Now, this is all heavy duty. Did you actually put this together or did this, this actually come on the truck? That came on this truck, yes. Okay. And the, the truck itself, the the center section is a, uh, what year again? This is a 74C10. 74C10. Yes, and it's been chopped on both sides okay. and tube chassis the rest of the way. Right, let me show you the side of this thing because it's not really like a stock truck at all. Pretty much looks like a race truck, right? Yes, it's fully race ready. Oh wow. That's crazy. So with the passenger habit, like is he help you navigate with that in like in a competition if you're working like Baja or something? That... Uh, in an ideal circumstance, yeah. Because he's got a he looks like he has something over there too, right? Yes. Uh, most of my passengers just kinda have some fun. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Alright, well, Definitely got the motor pull back in that deal a little bit, huh? Yeah, it's set down way in there. That's crazy. It's a 383 stroke. Yeah, I didn't realize this, that Edelbrock actually makes engines, but I guess they do. I, they did for a while. It's, uh, it's, what is that, number 89 of 250. Yeah, like that's a, lucky. a lot of horsepower, 460 for a, 460. I saw the 91 compression, that's a lot for that, that's for sure. It's definitely enough for this truck. Yeah. It's interesting too because they run the radiators in the back, right? Right, yeah, there's one right there. Yeah. Um, which it, it, it gets pretty windy in there. Does it? Yeah. It's because it's sucking air in, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. 
I like that. Well, we're gonna feature this for sure in the uh, next edition of Bakersfield Tough. I dig it, man. I like it. I like the spirit of being able to build something like this without having a lot of money, and it's just because you have a passion it's for possible. it. It's possible. Anybody out there thinking that it's not possible, it's possible. You just gotta get out there and try. You just gotta try. There's people out there willing to help. They wanna see people doing this. And to, to just give up before you start is is just out of the question. You gotta try if you want anything. Right. And, and I know that I grew up in these hills. I grew up in, like, in Oildale. I'm a Delian through and through. And <laughs> so I know that this is possible. You got I mean, yeah. it's there. And if anybody wants help with the truck, they can get a hold of you. Oh, of course. Of course I know you do course. some fabrication yeah, work and yeah, stuff like I'm that. I'm always available. Even if you just need to talk about it, you know what I mean? People yeah. who just want that drive, like, I'm there all, all, all the time. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. I love it.